Hello, um, I'm back again with this mixed media book by Anna Victoria Calderon. Uh, gonna have another go at one of these projects, or have a first go at another one of these projects. Uh, I've picked. Oh, where's it gone? It's hiding. The constellations and cosmic textures. Um, so I've got a small piece, little idea, some diagrams of constellations you can include. Um, a few step by step instructions. Um, yeah, so looking forward to this one. Um, mainly doing it because I've got these star sequins. Fun. Um, very much enjoying this book. The only thing I would like is a list of materials at the start of the project because it's just kind of dotted through the instructions so it's easier to get caught out with something you don't have that you need. Um, I should keep this to one side while I do some painting. The first step is drawing constellations with a wax crayon to sort of act as a barrier for the watercolour paint. I don't have any wax crayons, but I did have this China Graph pencil, which I tested and seems to work in the right way. So I've done that already because well, you can't see that I've done anything, so it wouldn't have been very interesting to watch. Um, and now I'm going to crack on with adding some paint, as she says to in the instructions. I've got my Schmincke palette, Winsor & Newton and I've also got these CSY CSY? Yeah, uh, neons which I thought might make a fun addition but they need a lot of wetting. Um, I've also got this Dale Around the Ink adds a bit of contrast and Bolder than the black watercolour and some salt. So. Oh, what colours to start with? Probably want some blues and things. And those ones already mixed, that'll do nicely. Get some more. Oh, oh it is working. Just need to. A lot of purple going on there. I suppose you want it quite deep because it's meant to be a galaxy. Got some of these colours quite vibrant. Um, maybe add a bit of paint grey. Try and keep it nice and wet so that I can. Um, Playing with it and keep manipulating it. Get some opera pink. That'll make a nice. Yeah. I'm trying to make this quite colourful. Get some of that neon green. Yellow. We keep it there. Uh, Pain's grey. Mm. Let's go back to this. Oh. Water there. Oh, not enough here. I need to add more pigment into this as well to keep the colours. It's watercolour. They will dry lighter than they look while they're wet. Some more 
purple up here. Make sure we can see these lines of the constellations as well. Some of these constellations are showing up better than others. I might have to uh, maybe just go over them with a bit of white gouache, which we'll be using anyway. Um, this bit's looking a bit wishy-washy, isn't it? Some more pink down here, I think. without adding too much water now. Mm. Oh, to keep it oh no, that's not good at all. Big old drop of water there. Blend it away, losing the pink. Um, losing some of this turquoise here as well. Right, now I'm going to get just very lightly add a bit of black ink and hope it doesn't Blend some of this in a bit. Oh, far too much water down there. Oh, I've got ink on my fingers. Lost the pink, lost the pink. Sorry if I'm a little bit snuffly, I've got the, I don't know if it's the start of a cold or just a bit of hay fever. Pooling up over there. And down here a bit. Okay, Ooh, a little bit of a frame that a bit. Yeah, I 
just want to let it dry a little bit um, before I add some salt because you add it when it's too um, too wet it just doesn't really do anything um, I'm going to put some stars and things on this as well, so I want them all to show up nicely. Um, well, no, I'm putting glittery stars on there, but I want to um, use some like speckled paint splatter type stars as well. That's where some blue should go, isn't it? Oh! Chucking half pounds around. Getting myself into a right mess. What's going on here? Mm. A bit of right. completely lost the pink up there, haven't I? It's I think this is a good place to add some salt. Um, I use sort of ground salt rather than table salt because you get some different size pieces which creates a bit more of an interesting texture than just sprinkling table salt. Nice big bit part that there. overdoing this a little bit but right. Right. to leave that to dry naturally for the most part if you go too overboard with a hairdress dryer you just kind of uh, don't give the chance the salt a chance to do much so I'm going to pause and just leave that alone for a little bit and then maybe just sort of finish it off drying with a hairdryer. Right, so that's all dried. Um, I'm going to try and brush all this salt off. Um, hopefully it is all dried. If you try and brush it off when it's white, you can leave sort of streaky marks with your painting. Mm. Pointed, it's lightened up a lot more than I, mean, I knew it would, but it's really quite lightened up. But it is what it is. Should have put some more black ink on, I think, because that's not as prominent as I, I thought it was going to be. All this salt, multi coloured salt. Look at that. 
I'm going to add some white gouache. My crusty little paint palette. Um, also, these crayon or China graph lines have sort of got a bit lost, so I'm going to add them in back in a little bit. I want this gouache quite watered down to start with. I'm going to do this first because. super prominent but more so than what you can see and that's not very straight line does it doesn't look good Some fresh water, so it doesn't end up there with grey, grey looking stars. Just do something with that. That's very up straight lines there. Hopefully, when I put the stars on it, will then mask it a little bit. to add more water to these, I don't want them.
Mix that a bit more. Okay. Or well, maybe just a little bit of something coming off of. Not basing that on any real one, but just so there's something in the corner. Yeah. I might just make that a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to use number six. I'm getting quite watered down. Um, and I don't want too much on the brush. I'm just going to tap and it gets better dots and if you sort of flick the brush because then you end up with ones that look a bit directional rather than just flat sort of round dots. Right mess on my desk. How oh, well? Oh. This way. Um, and another thing I've seen, uh, seen I do is use the watered down mix to do some sort of bigger, maybe a bit more watered down than that. Randomly place some of these. Try not to activate what's underneath them too much. It's watered down enough, is it? Can, oh gosh, that's a big. Some different sizes. Oh, without smudging some of these other stars that I put down.
hold. Just picked up too much on some of these. Hoping they'll dry a bit lighter, a bit prominent at the moment. Right, I'm trying to get the hair dryer on that. Get that, that all dried. Okay, so that's all dry. Um, I'm going to get the really thin brush again. Um, go back into this gouache, but use it much, much thicker um, to get some more prominent stars. Um, yeah. Bit of a gloop going on there. I'll just do with these. These with the little glowy outlines. Do some slightly bigger stars dotted about maybe a little. Make sure there's some stars that are more more prominent. Smudge stuff, but not being completely successful. Oh, Mister. A few bigger ones as well. That looks nice, but I need to stop and dry it again before we do the next bit. Um, yeah, back in a second. There we go, that's all dry. Now it's time to get out the sequins. Oh, oh I'm still in the everywhere somehow. in the bag somewhere or am I just being clumsy? I think I'm just being clumsy. Put them all over my lap somehow. Let's get a little pile of them. There's some plain silver and some have got that sort of sparkly pattern on them. Right. And the book has these diagrams in which sort of indicates where the bigger stars go. So I'm going to try and copy this. Unfortunately, I've not really got the right sort of glue, so I'm going to be relying on a print stick. Which could get messy.
I'm going to need some tweezers for this. There we go, let's see if this helps. feeling this might be very fiddly and time consuming so I think I'm going to do one constellation and then I will pause while I do the rest and come back and show you what it looks like. Two then. Oh well. Don't stick down with it. It'd definitely be easier if I had some like PVA or some similar sort of glue. This is not ideal. I'm hoping they stay stuck. Big ones are a bit easier to do. One done. No stars on there. Right. I'm going to pause and get the rest of this done and I'll be back shortly. There we go. So we've got the stars, sparkly stars on all the constellations. Oh, that was an attempt at Capricorn and that's Libra and the rest are I think it's Cancer, Sagittarius, uh, Pisces maybe. And that's just a some lines I added in. So now to do the fun bit. Just throw my uh, watercolour pad on the floor. Right. Hopefully this washi tape has done its job and got some nice clean lines. It's too much paint on it to reuse it, I'll just uh, contaminate another painting if I do, I think. Oh. 
There we go. Quite pleased with that. So you can see the sparkle on the, the sequins. Yeah. Very jolly. A really fun little project and I'm happy with the results. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.